The first step you want to do is go to Droid Box Share. So that's this icon here on the far left hand side. What you want to do next is open your mobile phone browser and type in the IP address that is shown. So in this case it's 192.168.1.1.1. And then it return. If you're on the same network, this will now connect to your Droid box, and then you can download uh, whichever app you want. So we've got it for Android, iPhone, iPad, and also Windows. So for this example, we'll be downloading the Android version. Click on that one, and then open it in Chrome. That will download the APK for you. Just if it does uh, give any um, notifications, just replace the file and accept the download. So you start to see it download in the corner and then click on open. And then just download it from there and install. So just click on install. Once you have opened the file, you will get a device list. Uh, so as you can see, the two devices match up, which is Droidbox 3929. So click on that one and you're now connected to your droid box with your mobile phone so there's a few things you can do so we'll just go through all of them one by one so we'll start with the remote control so as you can see on there we've got a sort of like a touchpad screen on the mobile phone if you move it around you'll see that it move the arrow on the screen you can also go to touch and that's sliding it left and right there so that's sort of like useful if you're browsing web pages and you want to drag something you've got keys which is like a television style remote control so you can navigate menus and so on and you've also got a list of apps which are on your droid box so you can just pick one of these and it load up the app on your droid box so for this example we do a Kodi so just click on that and it will start to load Kodi on your Droid box. So we go back a page. And one of the other features you have is the ability to upload files on your Droid box. So I'll just quickly show you that. Uh, so first of all, we can do images. So is uh, one of the images that I took a few weeks ago on holiday. So you can do that. You've also got a few other functions like you can rotate it on the screen, uh, flip it 180 degrees for example. Uh, you can also do the same with audio. So if you have any music on your phone, you can just simply click on one and it'll start to play. And that's also the same for videos. So these are a few videos that I've been recording um, at the moment. So you've got this one here. That will start to play on your droid box when you um, press it on there. Uh, and then last, you've got documents. So if you've got any uh, PDF files or text files, you can also play them on there. The next feature is the TV mirror. So what this allows you to do is mirror what's on your droid box to your mobile phone so it's good if for example you're going into a different room to make a cup of tea or something and you don't want to miss out on the action so whatever's showing on your droid box will be showing on your tv so as you can see here yeah, it's mirroring exactly what i'm doing on my droid box at the moment uh, the next feature is uh, screen mirroring so sort of vice versa so you click on screen mirroring and your droid box will show whatever's currently on your mobile phone so as you can see here whatever's happening on your mobile phone will happen on your droid box so that's useful um, if you just want to browse or something like that something on your phone then you can show it on your television Another feature that's exclusive to the Android version is the camera. So I'll just quickly show you now and you sort of get an inception effect with my um, capture card. So you press the camera and you can now capture with your mobile phone and it'll capture whatever on your 
camera onto your droid box. So if well, I'm using the capture card, this would replace your television. And this could also record your microphone at the same time. So this feature is pretty good if you just wanted a quick security camera, maybe to keep an eye on a child whilst you're out of the room or something like that. This concludes our overview of the Droidbox Share application for Android. Like all of our software, it is free to download, so we hope that you can try it out for yourself. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and you can watch more of our sharing and casting videos by clicking the link in the top right hand corner.